Hello, tis I. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna dye my hair. Come do it with me. <laughs> up. I am currently listening to an audiobook of a book called, can you see this? Focus, focus, Little Darlings by Melody Golding. It's really spooky. It's really creepy. I'm about, I'm nearly halfway through. I'm loving it. It's, it's given me the heebie-jeebies a couple times because I live alone. If I hear a little thump or a little a little, a little skid, I will um, jump out of my skin. Let's dye my hair. You can't see this um, because the camera is, is just low enough, but I'm gonna take off my pants because I don't want any dye to get on my pants. Usually when I dye my own hair, I am not filming it. I'm not filming it um, and I'm either naked or just in my underwear. Don't know if I'm gonna keep that in the edit, but we will see. I should put gloves on. Thanks for reminding me, Lindsay. There's the light. There's the light. That's what I've been looking for. This audiobook that I'm listening to is horrifying. Um, there was a moment where some stuff went down. Really harrowing stuff. Damn. Just broke my gloves because I got too emotional about what I was just listening to. And I had to close this door because I was afraid. I've got huge windows in my apartment and I was afraid that I was going to see something staring at me through the window. So I closed the door. Mm -mm. Do not be my guest. Ever. All right. Now that my roots have been in, for a second, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. Let's continue listening to Little Darlings by Melanie Golding. She's scaring the shit out of me. I have now placed a big old bag on my head and I'm gonna let this sit for probably 30 minutes. Then we'll take a shower. It's pretty late now. Yeah, it's 10, 1040. So I'm gonna wash this out. I might dry it tonight so I don't have to sleep with wet hair. Mm, we will see how I feel. Good morning. I did the thing I said I wasn't going to do, which was slept with my hair wet because it was just too late. It's a bit darker than I wanted it to be, but not bad. I think it will fade very nicely. Not bad. All right, time for tea. So sometimes I get groceries delivered and when you get groceries delivered through Whole Foods, they put a word to your grocery order so that they are able to differentiate whose order is whose. And my word was read. <laughs> Just 
seems, it seems like the right day for that. <laughs> you know there are times when um, you like hate your morning face or you love your morning face. I don't know what it is about today, but even with the period hormonal breakout and the puffy slept on hair and my tired eyes and my sleeping frown, not too shabby. Learning to love yourself is a really interesting journey. I can love myself, who knew? <laughs> will do. This is a ticket from when I went to see Passover at the August Wilson <laughs> while we were still in rehearsals. Time to get ready for the rest of the day. Oh, I forgot about it. I gotta put my laundry away too. Oops. It's kind of super cold right now in my apartment. I'm, I'm gonna make another cup of tea. Okay, now that we're in this light, I can really see how <gasps> how red the hair is. That looks fantastic. I've never really had fully red hair before. I really dig this. This hair looks good. I'm quite pleased. The lovely thing about drinking peppermint tea after you've brushed your teeth is it's just extra peppermint tea. The little things. Ugh. It's the little things. Bagels are re acquired. <laughs> there is a everything bagel toasted with tofu scallion in here. I'm gonna eat the shit out of this. But I first have to get on the train and then get to Brooklyn.
me to, to Brooklyn. And I've already bought three books that I will show you later. But for now, it's time to eat. I think, I think it's time for some coffee. Listen, is it a good idea to have coffee at 4 p.m.? Probably not. Is it a good idea for me to have coffee at 4 p.m.? Absolutely not. Is it necessary? Yes. I'm gonna show you the books that were picked up. We've got Girl, Woman, Other, The History of Wolves, and a prayer for travelers. This was the point in the day where my injury began to flare up. So I decided to take a cab to the next bookstore. And honestly, not a bad choice. Look at these buildings. Oh my God. Just had coffee. I read all the way to part three of Dawn. Part three is called Nursery. <gasps> I have so many things to say. I went to a bookstore called Books Are Magic, another bookstore in Brooklyn. And I got three books. I've been hearing amazing things about Under the, the Whispering Door, TJ Klune, same author as House in the Cerulean Sea, which I loved last year. No, beginning of this year. Loved it. Gonna read this too. I got Kiki's delivery service and then the Bloody Chamber. And yeah, look at this building behind me. I love Brooklyn. There's something really special about Brooklyn that I just absolutely adore. I'm gonna make my way home. All right. Hello, <laughs> my Roku came in. I just got home from Brooklyn. My Roku came in. I'm so, so stoked to put it together. Watch me struggle. Here we are. Little itty bitty Roku. You know, some people can, can open things pretty easily, but I guess I'm not some people. I'm just... <laughs> oh my God, it's happening. Jesus, I'm so excited. I just wanna, I just wanna pretend like I have a, I wanna put a fireplace on, you know? Just like pretend that I have a fireplace. <laughs> Roku streaming stick, quick start guide. I love that, because I don't love reading instructions. Excuse me. Mm. Plug the thing into the thing. Great, I will do that. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Not to worry. On you. Oh, come on. Come here. Come on, little thing. Eat. Aha. Bitch. You didn't see that. No. Info? No. Input? Ooh, ooh.
I have had the best day. I am so pleased. It's time to make popcorn. Let's make popcorn together, you and me. Me and you, both of us together. I can hear the popcorn beginning to go and I'm trying to, oop, oop, oop. Trying to multitask. Here it goes. Wow. Look at that. We're taking this. This, dear God, the, I can hear my mother's voice right now going, just make two trips. Just make two trips. Why are you trying to make it so difficult on yourself? Just make two trips. To that I say, no. <laughs> I'm going to put away the books that I bought today. I have this tiny, I bought this little rolly cart. Um, and these are all the books that I came to New York with. <laughs> I didn't bring a lot because I didn't have a lot of space in my suitcases when I had to move back for work. So um, I am now filling it up. My mom is bringing me a lot of books from Northern California, um, which I'm very grateful for. Because <laughs> uh, they're books that have been on my TBR for so long and I'm just dying to get to them. So that will happen. And I have my mom reading House in the Cerulean Sea, which is great. She has my copy right now, and I was like, why don't you read that? I think you'll really love it. I'm very excited. All right, I'm gonna light some candles, and I'm gonna dim the lights. And I'm gonna wash Van Helsing. I just finished Van Helsing and it's so fun. That was so nice, I needed that. I had a cookie from from Phantom, um, from the Phantom opening night and now I decided to put on a video to stream from YouTube and it is the Royal Library with a fireplace and rain. It looks better in person, but believe me when I say, it's fantastic. Obviously, I have to end a date day. I have to end it with a bubble bath. Of course, of course I do. Now that I have returned to my true form, it's time to read and eventually go to sleep. Thanks for hanging out. I have a lot of PT next week. I have a lot of chiropractor appointments next week. <laughs> and hopefully I'll get some more reading done. Maybe go on a little little bit of exploring. I'd like to go for some out some like long walks outside. I'm officially allowed to work out a little bit more, which is really exciting. I've really missed that. I hope you had a good time hanging out. I certainly did. <laughs> what a lovely weekend. Oh.